I was looking for a level 50, because I was level 50 from the spider farm, uh, and I accidentally clicked a level 35, uh, so I wasn't recording, and I got Silk Touch, uh, which is what I wanted, so, uh, yeah, that was really lucky, and I'm very happy about that. Okay, uh, so with that happy accident where we got the Silk Touch, um, I was close to level 50, so I went ahead and got back up there, and uh, we're enchanting another sword, because this sword is not doing so great here. Uh, so here we go. Exact same sword again. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Man, I, this is the only sword I've ever gotten in enchanting. This is the third time. Uh, I guess this is a pretty common sword to get. Alright, so I'm down in my branch mine. We got Shmoog with us here. Chaz Bono. Lovely. Um, anyway, I'm down in the branch mine. Found some redstone. I actually, uh, I came down here with the purpose of finding some. And, um, I dug away this block first, so I found it immediately. Uh, so I brought my Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 down. And we're gonna mine this up for uh, use. I'm gonna show you in a sec. Oh, I love it! I love it. I'm not gonna waste this at all um, on anything uh, except for ores for now. And if I find myself not needing any more, uh, then I will probably use it to get smooth stone uh, at some points. But yeah, I plan on actually. Um, if you guys know the entrance to my house, I'm actually gonna pop on over there real quick. All right, I'm so doing redstone, YouTube. Who is doing redstone? If you'd like to see uh, what redstone he is doing, it's going to be in his episode. What is it going to be? Uh, oh, snap. ten, right? Is it going to be ten? I don't even know. I think it's ten, right? How would I know? Okay, why well, would I'm, I know this? I think it might be ten, but I'm not sure. Anyway, why would why would I know this? I have a very That's boring door. Question. Would you agree with that? I have a boring door. To the Look outside. Look at this door. It's boring. To the outside. Yeah. Yes. So we are going to make it fancier, and I'm going to show you how in just a sec. Alright, we're here in my single play world, looking All at right. some redstone, just like Shmahoog. Looking at redstone. Single player, just... just no, a... you're, you're multiplayer, but we're both redstone it up. Yeah, we are. Okay, so you can see this uh, is a doorway, obviously, and this is what I want my door to look like. I plan on, I do plan on making probably a tower above my house, just so I do have something outside. Um, but as you can see, when we click this button, the door opens. Pretty simple door. Uh, but this button is not really in a good place. It's kind of awkward to hit. And that is why um, the main way to get in, as you can see, there's redstone ore around here. Uh, and when you right-click on redstone ore, it, it uh, activates. And so if we right if we right-click and in uh, in survival, we can't do this because we're in creative. But you could also punch. So uh, left-click. If I right-click this ore, the door is going to open up. And the reason I have the button there at all is because uh, for as long as this stays lit, uh, the door can't be used again from this mechanism. You have to use the button. Uh, so I just have the button there. Just Oops. <laughs> that was kind of a fail on my part. I just tried to walk through the door and it closed right on me. Mad skills, right? Super duper mad skills. Yeah. So that's why we have the button here, just in case someone needs to get in and the ore is still lit. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and build this in Pitscraft. Alright, I finished uh, the door, the circuitry, and um, if we come around, it looks pretty good from over here, but if we come around the side here... It looks even better. It looks so much better from this side. <laughs> uh, I know, but just deck it out with some cobblestone at that point. Yeah, just put cobblestone randomly, don't even cover the whole thing. Just cobblestone, dirt, checkered pattern. And have also have some pillars as well. I'm thinking pillars all the way to build them. Oh yeah, easily. And uh, you gotta have lava pouring down from them. Yeah. I, was, I was just gonna say that, yeah. and you know... I'm thinking just, just, just another rack it up. <laughs> oh goodness, yeah. But obviously we've got to extend this hill so this doesn't look so goofy. Uh, so I'll get on that and I'll be right back, and then I'll build some tarred pillars. Okay, I think I got it looking pretty natural. What do you think, Schmoog? Uh, I think it looks, I think it looks uh, uh, uh tasty. Tasty, excellent. I think it that. looks like, uh, it looks as scrumptious as He-Man. Don't even get me started, Ben. Uh, actually, I bet it's, oh god, it's dark in there. With lice. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep it inside. <laughs> Learn, Learn to hide it's your, your feelings. feelings. <laughs> <laughs> We're so weird, especially you. Yeah, you should put a link to that video. In the I really shouldn't. You should. No. Just keep it inside. 
learn how to hide your feelings. Yay! 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 Okay, I've also, I should say, I've added another light here. I'm sorry to interrupt your beautiful yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it goes again. Lovely as always. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna quit recording. And, uh, I'll be back when I decide what I'm gonna do next. So, yeah. Yeah, we're doing the staircase. And actually, look look how perfect this is. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, I think we actually just need to bring this back a couple more blocks up here, though. Because it is gonna be half slabs, but... We'll see how it turns out. So, uh, we're gonna finish this, and I'll, we'll be right back. Alright, so we finished the stairs, but we forgot to, uh, think about the fact that... It was half slab, so it was twice the distance, so we couldn't just go straight down. Uh, we had to go off to the side, but it still worked out pretty well. I like it. We added some glowstone and iron bar lighting along the way. And I'm going to end up cleaning up this room, so it's not going to be so ugly. So ugly. I think the chickens are really what make it ugly. Mm? The chickens are what make it ugly, to be honest. Uh, I think... You ready to kill these guys? Oh, yeah. Let's kill these little buggers. In celebration. Ow. Hooray. Yeah, it hurt. I want Are some. you okay? Yeah, I'll make you better. Oh, I didn't get any. I made okay. you better. Die. Get out of here. Alright, cool. Uh, so I'll be back when I go on to the next thing. You can never have enough good picks. Okay, I realized I cut that recording off right after I got that, but I just want to mention one thing real quick. I did that because I kind of wanted to just, you know, shit. Uh, normally I, I take way too long with these enchantments, and I'm doing it again. Uh, but it's funny how I've wanted Silk Touch for such a long time, and I just got two of them in a row. Um, and I don't even really need that one because the other one has Unbreaking 3 on it. But it's just kind of funny that I got two in a row. Uh, it is good to have two, uh, just in case I drop one of them in lava somehow, that would suck. Uh, so it's good that I have two now, but I just think it's funny that I got two of them in a row. Uh, so yeah. Um, when I said you can never have enough good picks... Um, I wasn't really referring to Silk Touch. I'm not complaining about it. It's a nice thing to have. Uh, but I would like one more good working pick uh, behind my belt before I take a little break from enchanting. And that's what I plan to do if I do get a good pick here. Uh, so I just want something with efficiency. I don't really care um, if it has some breaking or not. I just would like some efficiency. Uh, so here we go. That's, um, wow, another Silk Touch. But it does have efficiency. So I'm not complaining here, uh, but it's funny how I <laughs> I wanted Silk Touch for the longest time, and I just got three in a row. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay, well, my god pick that you can see here in my inventory, and I just actually switched back to my uh, to the staticky but let more clear mic settings, because uh, I've been monitoring the video where I asked the poll, and it appears that uh, people like this more, so we'll go with it for the rest of this episode and see how that goes. Uh, we got some hook here. Hi. He's working on his pumpkin farm. Uh, so if you mine a couple more blocks here... Oh, there goes the pick. Goodbye, beautiful pick. You shall be missed. But I have another one of you, so it's okay. <laughs> so you can um, be replaced easily. Yep. Uh, so I should probably actually mention what I'm doing here. Um, with my plans in the future, especially uh, the next plan me and Shmahoog have to do together, uh, the blaze farm we plan on making... We're going to need a lot of damage potions for that, so I want a steady supply of brown mushrooms so I can make fermented spider eye. Uh, so we're going to be making a mushroom farm here, so I'm going to go grab my other pick, and I'm going to continue clearing out space. Okay, uh, room is cleared out. The yeah. Yep, I'd say I'd say that's a pretty awesome sound. Would you agree? I was I was going to sing something, but then you and decided then I was against afraid it. afraid you'd be copyrighted. Screw copyright. No, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Anyway. I'll do it. I'll do it. I <laughs> uh, think I'd be kicked, though. Probably. I've been kicking Ben because he's been singing the song that is driving me insane. He's been just singing it nonstop. Uh, oh, goodness. My next video. My next video. A singing a Check ton. it out, guys. It's going to oh, be goodness. Pixel Craft episode uh, <sighs> uh, 
I don't know what the next one is gonna be, but <laughs> it's gonna next be eleven. Pixel craft on Shmoo on the Shmoo Wait, channel. No. Yeah, I think it's gonna be eleven. I'll link to the video. Okay. In the it's description. In my video. <laughs> in my video, yeah. Um, no, I won't make it. Anyway, um, I cleared out the rest of this room here, and uh, I've been breaking into this unbreaking three efficiency five, working well. Same pick as the other one, except no fortune. And uh, I think first order business here. I'm gonna make this room look nice. And uh, we have the ability now to instantly spread grass. And what I mean by that is, uh, you guys is know, you guys know faster. I got silk touch. Yeah, it's not instant, but I don't have to make a trail. I'm not gonna waste. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste uh, all that grass, make like laying down grass blocks on the whole thing. But I'm gonna like spread them out on this platform, uh, so it'll spread pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this floor into grass, and I'll be right back. Man. <laughs> Me. Me. Okay, well, I've got another, or I've not another, uh, I laid down the two pads of dirt and I've got some grass laid down that's going to spread, and now I'm just going to do a wood plank border around the edges here. There we go. Nope. We're doing a little tradesies. Yeah, we're doing the trades. Uh, Shmahoog needs a fortune pick, and I've got quite a few, I've actually got two of this Unbreaking Fortune, or Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. Uh, and I would really like to get the diamonds back from this, but unfortunately that's te impossible in a single player world. But since we're a multiplayer here, I'm going to give him this pick for three diamonds and ten gunpowder. Since I also need gunpowder. You ready? Get out of Jacoby's room. I don't want to be involved okay. in this drug deal trade. Okay, here you go. Hand over the goodies. I don't have inventory space. <laughs> <laughs> Here's ten gunpowder. Hand him over, I'm ending your life. On to Tim Witchcraft. Gaming. Witchcraft. I call witchcraft. On to Tim <laughs> Gaming. Come back here, give him my diamonds, man. Oh. Suck. I, that'd be hilarious if you were burning my house down. <laughs> if I just got back. Alright, cool. And my house was on fire. He's gone. Around. Jacoby's dead. Okay. Uh, Jacoby. Alright. So I'll There's be right back there. with more work on the pumpkin farm. Not pumpkin farm. Yeah, I don't, I don't even farm. want to work on the pumpkin farm. Alright, we're back. I've done some aesthetic work in here, and I added lighting in the ceiling, and then I remembered mushrooms grow better in darkness, or at least I'm pretty sure they spread faster. I've been watching this for a while, and, and I, I don't... And you realize that sometimes you just gotta keep it inside. And hide your feelings. And you gotta learn how to hide your feelings. Oh goodness, don't even want to explain that. Anyway. <laughs> link, link to the video in the description of my next pixel. No. <laughs> Why? Okay, anyway, um, so I decided I'm going to take out the lighting and just have the mushrooms get pushed to a collection point. And I have glass window looking in, so we're going to go ahead and... I should get a fortune pick to take out the lights here so I get more glowstone back. Or I should just... Oh, I'm just going to use a silk touch, actually. So I've got, like, freaking plenty of them. Picks, picks. And breaking silk touch. Wow. Inventory's a mess right now, Ben. Your inventory is? Yep. You should see mine. Is it pretty crazy? There's no spaces left. Uh, I, I can't just instant break this, I forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna take up the lighting and I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, the mushroom farm has changed since I last showed it here. Uh, the reason for this is I could not figure out how to get these mushrooms to grow. Um, I AFK'd here after I made any small change for about 20 minutes each time to see if any would grow, and I didn't get a single one growing until I used this setup. Um, I changed the material on the floor to stone, although I know that mushrooms can spread, uh, I'm pretty sure to any opaque block, but I changed it nonetheless, and, uh, the water was destroying the grass, so, uh, I figured I didn't want grass there anymore and then would look funny with stone materials, so I just ended up changing it all to smooth stone. I may change it again later, um, but this is what I've gone with here. And then I've also spaced these mushrooms out more, because uh, only five mushrooms can exist in a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. Uh, so by having a lot here, I was actually limiting the amount that would be able to grow in this row here. Uh, so I figured I would just limit the number here. I don't know, apparently it helps, I guess, because it's the only way I've gotten any to grow. Uh, and I've also added seed mushrooms every two blocks under here and uh, these mushrooms can grow to any of these three spaces right here so 
yeah, I decided to add those to help increase rates a little bit. Uh, yeah, so how it works um, at this moment is they'll grow and uh, also one thing about this design, any mushrooms, God, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta go back in here, um, any mushrooms in this row or in this back row here will get completely destroyed. They won't drop any items when the water flows down. Uh, but I'm okay with that because I'm only going to harvest this um, after this example when the thing's really full. Uh, so, yeah. And um, I, so if, if the thing's really full, I don't mind if I lose a couple in these rows. Because uh, the way mushroom farms work, especially big room ones like this, uh, the more mushrooms you start getting, the faster they start spreading. Because, you know, the more mushrooms, the faster they spread. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really mind if we lose a couple here. So, how this works right now, press the button, or press the lever, get a lag spike because of the water. Mushroom gets turned into an item. Gets slowly pushed down into this stream here. I was thinking about setting up a timing unit for this, but uh, I realized I don't really care that much. I, I might do it eventually if I decide to, but I don't see it as too much of a priority at this moment. And then the mushrooms will get pushed eventually all the way to this block where we can pick them up. Uh, so that's how this works at the moment. I'll be monitoring it more to see how much grows. Um, but yeah, thanks. Not thanks for watching. I'm not ending the video here. What am I doing? This is kind of instinctual when I'm ending a clip. Um, so I don't know why I, don't know why I did that, but not ending the video here. Uh, I'll get back to you guys when we go on to the next thing. Alright, well I managed to plug my microphone into the speakers jack on my computer, so I just recorded me making a uh, chicken farm, and the audio is very, very, very bad. So, not gonna include that, I'll quickly go over what I did. I killed all the chickens, I moved the sheep over to this pen over here so we'd have more space over here, and this is this will not be the per permanent uh, sheep residence. I will make a sheep farm eventually. Uh, cleared out some room up here, laid down some water streams, threw a bunch of eggs, and uh, as soon as these chickens up here grow up, we will have a working chicken farm. Uh, basically, they will lay eggs, which will just go down to here and fall down this hole. And we'll be able to collect our eggs down here, and we can throw them back up if we want to get more chickens. And then once we have a lot of chickens, we can come up and kill them for their meat and feathers. Um, what's nice about chickens is, first of all, they drop meat now, which is good for obviously eating, uh, because for caving, I don't really mind for doing mundane tasks, but you really want a food that fills up your hunger bar quickly, and melons are not that food, so uh, as much as I love them, I would like a, a second optional food source as well, and also for their uh, feathers, since we do want arrows, and uh, we do not have a skeleton trap, we want a good source of uh, arrows, so that'll probably have to be our source of arrows for a while. That looks like the mushroom farm's filling out well. Uh, so that was what I had planned to finish off this, this episode, but since I lost the recording, uh, this episode would be really short if I cut it off here, so I guess I'll think of something else to do. Alright, I just want to show that this is working. Working? Ooh, voice crack. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely! Um, anyway, chickens have grown up up here, most of them at least, and uh, I, I just sat here for about two minutes and I got six eggs, so it's working well, and then what I'd do is I'd come up here, and throw the eggs back up and maybe get some more baby chickens. And I think I may have hit the fence gate, so one of them spawned right here. So he's just gonna have to die. Poor baby chicken. Uh, but if I don't fail miserably and don't hit the fence gate, uh, they will go up there and spawn. And I just wanted to say one thing before we continue with the episode. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I've most likely hit 400 subscribers. And I think I've mentioned, yeah, here's another egg. I think I've mentioned this already, but I will not be doing, oh, there's another egg. I will not be doing a 400 subscriber special, oh, are they all hitting the fence gate? I may have to put signs on these two right here, just so I don't, uh, the egg doesn't hit them, but I'll fix that later. Uh, I just want to say that by the time you're seeing this, yeah, I'll probably hit four, uh, 400 subscribers. And I won't be doing a 400 subscriber special, uh, because I'm saving something big for episode, or not for episode, for, uh, 500 subs. Um, I plan on inviting uh, a few, uh, maybe between two or three, and also at the same time Shmoog might be inviting some people because uh, he might be hitting 50 around that time, 50, uh, so he might do it for his 50 sub special. Uh, but we're going to be inviting people onto Pixelcraft for a permanent stay, uh, provided of course that you follow the rules, don't grieve or steal or anything. Um, so I'll provide more details on that once we get closer. 
Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say that, so thank you guys. By the time you're seeing this, I will have hit 400. Uh, so thank you very much, that's totally awesome. Um, when I started this channel, I was a little bit disappointed because uh, my old channel, and to, to me now this seems funny, I had 150 on my old channel, and I was like, oh, I don't want to give that up. Um, but I did anyway, and now I've gotten way more subscribers than that. Uh, so thank you guys, uh, that's really awesome. Every single one of you guys subscribed and even just watched a couple of my videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me because I do put a lot of work into these videos. Uh, so yeah, thank you, and let's continue on with the episode. Alright, to end off this episode here, uh, we're just going to do a little bit of talking and small preparations here uh, for the Blaze Farm, which I know I've said this a few times here, but uh, we are going to work on next episode. Um, I'm sorry we ran out of... oops. I had caps lock on, I was just trying to turn it off there. I'm sorry we ran out of time today, um, but I do actually plan uh, on doing a next episode with Shmook. Uh So look forward to that, that'll be pretty cool. That'll probably take most of next episode. Uh, so I've got my inventory full of supplies here, and we're just going to run on over to the Blaze Farm. I don't think I've actually ever showed me running from the portal to the farm. Or not farm yet, but to the spawner. Uh, so I'm going to show that here. I will be getting a little bit of lag, because for some reason I just always do in the nether. Uh, especially when I first join and the world's generating in. I'm not sure why that is. It just kind of is. So, excuse me for that. Oh yeah, Ooh, really bad lag. I normally don't record when I'm running around in the nether, so this is even wor worse than normal. Uh, as you can see here is one of the blaze spawners, but this is not the one we'll be working on. And actually it's activated, don't want to get too close to that. Uh, because that's out in the open, and that means it's more difficult to work on because you'll have uh, gas shooting at you the whole time. So we don't want to work on that one. We are going to work on this one over here. Uh, so actually let me drink my fire resistance potion so I don't get murdered here. I actually brought quite a couple over. Hello Mr. Blaze, how are you? How's your day? You having a good day? Well, it's about to get a lot worse. Because you're dead. Oh, blaze rod burned. Anyway, let's set up shop in here. This looks like a nice little area. Uh, let's just enclose ourselves in here, give ourselves more of a doorway. And put some chests down. As you can see, I brought a bunch of stone brick, because that'll probably be our main building material here. Uh, lots of redstone, repeaters, torches. Uh, I brought my bow and arrow for killing ghasts. Dirt we're going to need some of. Pistons. Uh, buckets to fill with lava. Some fire resistance potions. Uh, pressure plates. More blocks. Workbench that's put down here. And torches. So I'll probably need to bring over a little bit more stuff next time. And I'll just leave these here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, actually I hear a ghast. Let's see if we can go take him out. Where is he? I don't see him. That's a glowstone. I should really pick some of this up. I would soak that. Oh, there he is. Come here. Come here, ghast. Gonna have some blazes over here. Where'd they go? I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I don't see it. Okay, anyway. Here, another one. There he is. Being on fire is so obnoxious. <laughs> Where'd this ghast go? I just saw him. Ghast. Where art thou? Even though that means, why are you, but... That's okay. I'm still gonna say it anyway. Did he just up and disappear? I guess so. Blade, shut up. I'm trying to film the video. Goodness. Blade, shut up. Yeah. Get knocked back. Like 10,000 feet. Boom. No blaze rod? Cheapo. Uh, but yeah, this is how I have been getting my blaze rods. I just go up. I normally go to that one because it's enclosed. Uh, but I just basically kill him manually with a fire resistance potion. Hey, hey, come down here. Boom! Take that. Blaze rod acquired. Uh, but yeah, this is the one we'll be working on. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if I've said this on camera yet. Uh, these are just barely too far apart to make a dual blaze farm. Uh, you cannot have both of them be active at the same time. You can see that one stops being active. Uh, it starts being active right here because the thing starts spinning. Uh, so it stops being active here. And if I were to pillar up but I don't have any blocks, uh, you'd see that that one's not active. Alright, sorry, I had something to do there real quick. 
Anyway, uh, since we've been here for a while, my frame rate's improving, and as I say, that lag spike. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that one is, they're just barely too far away to make a dual blaze farm. Uh, really, we could make two, technically, and have two people AFKing in here at once. Uh, but really, we're just gonna do one for now, if it's really not that much faster than maybe like any of the other spawners, but it will be faster, because um, all of our other spawners only have one spawner. Like, if we had a dual cave spider spawner, it would actually be probably pretty similar to the blaze farm. Um, but we all we want blaze rods, first of all, and uh, second of all, blazes drop twice as much XP as like zombies, and zombies drop more than cave spiders, I think, or maybe the same amount, I'm not sure. But I know blazes drop twice as much as normal mobs. Uh, so this should be a pretty effective farm here. Shut up, phone. <laughs> uh, so if we find that it's not fast enough, then we can make a second one over there. Uh, but we're going to stick to one for now. God, what's up with this lag? Come on, lag. Fix yourself. Boom. Boom. Yeah, take that, please. All right. Uh, so I Oop, lag spikes are lovely. I'm going to get out of the nether now because... This lag is really bugging me. Miss the jump. Like I do. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Get out of my screen. You two, get out of my screen. Get out of it. Blaze Rod fell over there. I don't care. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. I uh, hope to see you guys next time, and bye. I lied. We're not done here. I want to actually try one more thing quickly before we go here. I want to see what happens if we put a portal uh, over here at the stronghold, if it links up uh, with a, my portal or Shmahook's portal. Uh, in that case, I will destroy um, the portal back near the wart farm, since we have plenty of warts for now, and we could just make another wart farm here. And um, actually, because I'm OCD, I'm going to replace these corner blocks. Because uh, this would be a lot more convenient. This is where we're going to be doing most of our nether stuff in the future. So hopefully it does link up. Uh, so let's see where this takes us. Hopefully nowhere extremely deadly. That would be not enjoyable. Uh, what's going on? Okay. Oh god, that scared me. Alright, so we are at lava level somewhere. <laughs> um, well, looks like we've got a cave to explore. And a chunk arrow over there. And I don't have any torches. Well, you guys can't see. That's fun. Uh, so obviously the portals did not link up. I just thought I'd give it a try, see what happened. Uh, but at, in the, at the very least, we do have another cave to explore. I'm actually going to get my fire resistance back real quick. Yeah, there's a weird glitch where uh, potion effects disappear if you go through a portal. Uh, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just going to swim across here, see what's going on. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, so, um, what's actually our coordinates right now? Uh, where are they, where are they? Negative 930, negative 663. I don't actually know the coordinates of my house. I'll have to check it out. I don't actually know how far away that this is. Um, I'm pretty sure we've gotten most of the caves near where we actually live. Ooh, there's some redstone, that's nice. Uh. I, if you guys didn't know, I'll actually have to show you later, maybe in the next episode. I'm very, very low on redstone. Fire, go away, you're obnoxious. Um, but yeah, so I need some more redstone, so this should be nice. Uh, looks like it's a sizable cave here, so we'll have to check this out later. Uh, but yeah, with that, I would like to end the episode, guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time. I'm pretty sure I just repeated a couple things twice. Uh, but yeah, bye. Thanks for watching.